Well, another uh, make do project. I need uh, something to lift heavy and awkward stuff. And my tractor is great for moving things around, but when I move heavy and awkward stuff, I have this issue. We don't have enough lift. And this is a great example. So one of these sort of Ar Harbor Freight type uh, auto jacks, slightly adapted, seems to work great. I had no problem lifting this up and I didn't even do it with the hydraulic. I just set the hydraulic and uh, I just tipped the bucket. So as you can see here, I've got that extended out so I can get actually very high if I want to. This particular one has a foot pedal adapter. And uh, what it is, I cut a little notch in there and I've got a hole that I use to put a ball on for moving stuff around. So I just adapted that to that hole and bolted it down. And then if I come up here, I just thought, well, okay, I need a little plate. I need some kind of an adapter thing. I put a piece of pipe in through there to fit in the groove of the bucket, spread the weight out, and takes the load down here to the uh, to this uh, hydraulic cylinder. And it should be plenty strong. It's just two bolts there, one there and one there to steady the top, because all the force is away, going out that way here and comes in at the bottom. So down here at the bottom. I mean, it would have been better to have had, you know, the bolt on the other side, but I'm figuring out it's going to be just super fine, and it apparently does work great, as you can see. So just another innovative idea, or not, but it works. And uh, you can imagine the height I can get on that thing when the bucket is lifted right up. Of course, you always got to worry about stability. That's on my little BX25. Poor little thing just gets overworked. Gets so beaten up. I still haven't solved my problem with the uh, the backhoe. Though so I'll go over here and just give you a quick showing. Where this buckled, I thought I'd put a pipe in. And that strengthens it from side to side. And I can use this channel to bolt on some lights or make some other attachment and whatever I might need it's there but it uh, this is all kinked up if you saw my other video so hopefully this will work too uh, as far as the curling goes and flexing I mean I'm not touching there but look where Kubota put their fitting right in the way so there's no clearance here okay let's see if we get a better picture of it here I don't know Let's turn it this way. Now what the hell is that about? Now that thing bends a little bit because this fitting interferes. And I'm not about to notch out that arm just to fit that fitting. So for now at least I've reduced the flex a lot. As you can tell it's not touching the thumb now at all because it was hitting up here on this bolt. So that's my fix for that. And the other thing I noticed is when I retracted the cylinder, pulled this in all the way to extend the bucket, I had interference here. These arms were rubbing on these bolts. So I had to grind them back to, until they fit right in between so that they don't cause wear or damage on here. But yeah, I don't know who designed this thing, but they definitely, uh, it was a hurried job. And this here, why isn't this out a little, or a little bit higher or something? I mean, we've got, we've got room. We just needed this uh, slightly different angle. Or the hole, you know, drilled up in here differently or something. I don't know. But it's definitely in the wrong place because it bangs right on the frame there when this bucket is fully curled in. And there's no other stop on the bucket other than cylinder travel. So now what do you do? Come on, Kubota. Get your engineers to work on this thing.